congratulations, Chris, on your victory over Damien Meyer. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel good. Well, okay, so you only had 11 days notice for that fight. You are like a short notice kid right now. Um, and you had a third of the Yes. And you had How did you do that? Uh, I had to cut off one of my legs and have it put back on after wins. But, no, pretty much, yeah, it was uh, intense, man. Just uh, a lot of hard work and diet. And, uh, did you eat at all? Like, what did you do? Yeah, I ate. It was a couple of nights where I'm just eating, you know, a spoonful of peanut butter. And, okay. And then I tried to get back to, like, the grilled chicken vegetables, but, you know, it was tough, man. I had a lot of weight to lose, yeah. you know, not, not your normal weight cut, so... I had to do what I had to do to get mm -hmm. down, and uh, it was a struggle. Pretty much almost died. I became delirious a couple times, but uh, it was all worth it. You know, yeah. I wouldn't be doing it again anytime. You no. know, but uh, it was it was a good experience. You know, for me, maybe a probably a tougher person. And mm -hmm. I know I, I could win even you know going through terrible times like that. You know, yeah. and at the, in the same week, I you know I lost my uncle. Uh, Ray, Ray's, Ray's mother was in the hospital. We, I mean, it wasn't just like an easy ten days just worrying about a weight cut. It was also oh we were going so through you know adversity at the same time and. We were able to pull it, you know, pull it out. Mm -hmm. so. I'm so sorry. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Your family okay? Yeah, everybody's good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you always, I mean, you seem to take fights on short notice. Are you saying now that you might not want to take fights on that short I mean, notice? Or? It depends on the circumstance. If okay. they're offering Anderson Silva in, in three weeks from now, I'd probably take it. You would take it? Yeah. yeah and you, it depends on the opportunity. You know? okay. It just depends who, who it is um, and, and what it means for my career. Mm -hmm. I mean, but this you was, have to this take was a big one, and uh, you know, I didn't have to take it. The UFC was cool, but uh, for me and for my career, and, you know, I believed in myself. And mm -hmm. as long as my weight got down, I knew I could you know, get the W. Right. And so, I mean, you're training every day anyway, right? So yeah. you're, you're training with Matt and you're training with, with Ray Longo. So did you have to do anything special to get ready for Damian? I mean, you only had 10 days. What I did mean, you the guy's, you know, ranked in the top five in the world, so there's not much you can do in 10 days to prepare mm -hmm. for like, a guy like that. You know, you go over some of his tendencies, but it was really just relying on my prior workouts and mm -hmm. just my whole life of work and you know towards this point uh, that's what gave me the confidence not the 10 days mm -hmm. well he's actually not in the week after or a couple of days after he dropped out of the top 10 and you made it into the top 10 <laughs> how do you feel about that I feel I guess it's cool for rankings purposes but I think it doesn't matter I still think he's a top 10 guy right no and, he's, uh, he's he's great uh, Were you surprised? I'm happy to be there but were you surprised that he didn't try to, to you know, take you down and, and control you on the ground at all? Like, were you, you know, surprised I saw that it was more of a stand-up fight? Uh, you know, not to be tweeting my own horn, but it's hard to take me down, and I'm in and out a lot, so it's hard to time takedowns. Mm -hmm. Also, I think he went to that fight underestimating my stand-up and kind of overestimating his thing. Yeah. If it's standing, he was going to win, so he was going to try to keep it standing type thing. Um, and then when it started not working out for him, I think it was a little, you know, shocking. And then by the time he realized he was losing the fight, it was third round, and he started going for takedowns. He was tired. Um, he looked exhausted. Yeah, he, yeah. So you know, uh, I was ready for him to shoot on me, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Okay. And so why did they say that it was a split decision? And that a little bit. Oh, uh, they just read. They read they it wrong. Yeah, they read it wrong. Okay. Yeah, it was so. a unanimous decision. They okay. just read split decision for some reason. Okay. <laughs> All right. They changed that. So who do you think you're gonna fight next? What do you, What do we think? Yeah, you know, I'm guessing, you know, pretty top guy that's pretty up there and, uh -huh. you know, I'm ready, you know, to fight for that title. So, whatever I have to do to get there, um, I'm ready to do it. Give me a full fight camp and I'll be, you know, yeah. be looking pretty good out there. So. Is there anybody that you want? Mark Munoz? Whoever's going to be, whoever's going to bring me out, you know, bring me closer to the top. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. That's why, you know, not to be in the top ten, top five or anything like that. That's to be number one. So, none of that stuff is really making me happy. I'm not satisfied at all. So. Right. And so you have other stuff going on. You have a, a baby on the way. I have a baby boy. Okay. Just, we found out, actually that was the same week that I took the fight. Okay. The Saturday before my fight, so seven days before my fight, I found out I'm having a boy. That's so so I was pretty pumped about that. You know? Does Cassidy know? Like, does she understand? Does your she says brother. Oh. Like, she's gonna have a brother. You know, yeah. and she says it a little bit. Like, I have a brother. Brother. But uh, so. and um. But she's, you know, she, she doesn't really understand. Mm -hmm. She sees obviously her mom has a big stomach and that's uh -huh. where the baby is and, you know, whatever. Yeah. So are you going to put him into wrestling? He'll be a little ninja just like my daughter. <laughs> my, daughter's, my daughter my daughter, is almost two now in a couple of days and I'm trying to teach her how to be a little ninja just to that's defend herself. And... Are you going to put her in jiu-jitsu? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Whatever she wants to do. I'm, I'm, I'll be, I'm not. I'm not the type of guy to push my kids to do anything. I, I've wrestled my whole life, and I've seen, and I've coached wrestlers and coached kids wrestling. And the worst thing you do is push your kid into anything. So 
you know, in the pain you need to hate whatever you're trying to push them into. So she, whatever she wants to do, if she wants to have fun and do wrestling or jujitsu, she's I try to help her out as best I can. Yeah, or if she wants to be a princess. Oh, yeah, a princess. I love her. Yeah, I love her no matter what. Or so you, your son will not be a princess, hopefully. Yeah, yeah hopefully he's not. Uh, <laughs> I, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> so right. My son will not be a princess. Okay. Uh, well, thanks so much. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see you fight again. Um, Kristen Brown, Chris Weidman. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Oh. <laughs>